Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery with a 12 inch by 16 inch canvas, an OXO omelet turning flip and fold, fold spatula, some navy blue from Anita's just to coat, put a coating on my canvas and maybe facilitate making the prism pour colors that I have over here, if you can see them, I'm not sure about that move better. I have some black around the edges of the, my, my bottom and that's mead and black. My intention is to probably combine methods as I have usually done. I think I want to bring that, I think I want that to stop making that noise. <laughs> Now, I'm going to throw some Chantilly lace without that tab on top. Quite a bit of Chantilly lace, honestly. I just feel like combining a whole bunch of blues with some white. And that Klingon on my thumbnail has got to go. This is the blue velvet. I'm thinking about a night sky with a moon in it. The moon may have to come later, like in tomorrow. This is the frozen. My paint mixtures are below the video. Under show more in the description. I don't know why I put the tops, close the tops up, but the polypore makes things set up pretty quickly. So I guess that's not a bad idea. This is the northern sky. That's not really coming out very well for me because I left a paint tab on there. Remove your paint tabs. Make sure your bottles are fully open. I'm going to have fun in a minute using my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula and just moving paint across. That was supposed to come out immediately and it's not. Give it another bit of a shake, maybe for luck. Now it's going to come out fine now. That is the Pink Lady. And I'll be using any of my residuals on my spatula to go over the edge. I want some frosted, frosted berry I think it is called. I might be using more colors than I need, but I don't think I really care at this point. And I might go back on what I was thinking for myself and go and put a little bit of pink diamond in there. I might spread this down much further than it is Make it light at the horizon. That's the frosted. This is violet rose. I haven't used a lot of this, but this is an awesome color. Now, I talked about clothes. <laughs> I talked about some hot or uh, pink diamond. And I have a whole bunch of it mixed up. Now that looks like a lot of paint to me, and probably to you too. I don't need that paint chip. That's not going to help me out. So I'm just going to go over briefly and back push some of the colors right over the top and right over the edge right now before I get too involved. And yes, I see that thing that does not belong. In case you see it, it's got to go. I think I see a second one. Maybe it's just the mark left over from the first one. Now I could definitely use some cell activator if I wanted to. And make some clouds or something. More of the same.
but I kind of like the peacefulness, the serenity of that sky. But I think I'm, what I'm going to do is take my bottle out of the way, take the leftover paint that's on my spatula before it gets too late. Make sure to knock it over the edge, the top and the, ad and the sides. I like the prism pour, and there's a coupon under the, under the video. I like the prism pour paint because if, I'm, if I have a nice light touch, I can get it to cover all the way to the edges. I'm really liking that. I'm really tempted to put some Chantilly lace into my dish and see what kind of clouds I can make. Not sure where that black came from. Kind of think I don't want any more of that black. considering pulling that down because my chances are good I'm going to use a palette knife or something to swipe my base colors in. I kind of thought I might put some trees along the ridge. I like the white as clouds. I also really like how that, I see that bubble. I think I figured out where the black came from. Yeah, I like the pink along the bottom. Black came from the bottom edge. I'll just move my mountains up so I won't have to deal with that. And I will wipe my colors off. And my studio rag is fortunately still a little damp from yesterday. Yay! All right, so now let's do the bottom. the maiden black. Does not really matter what paint is in there because I will be putting a whole bunch more paint in there. Oh, I said I was going to put a moon in that sky. I guess I could. You know, moons, moons come up early <laughs> sometimes, right? I kind of like the shape of that landscape right there. Humpy Hill. <laughs> Knock a little bit off. And now I'm covered. And I wanted to use some greens. I wanted to use more greens than I used the last time, but I'm going to start with some Mayan gold. And I'm going to try and not be uniform. I'm going to try to spread things not everywhere. That way I can lift my spatula with paint colors on it and have a chance. And I wanted to put some rich browns in because I haven't actually used that color. That's auburn. No, that's rich auburn it's called. I must have used it because it's open still. And thank goodness it's breathing well. That was... Come on out. There we go. That is a really gorgeous deep coppery shades. shade. Shades. I want some black iris, which is a really sultry gray blue. I think I'm going to pick on some African violet. Is 
This is, I'm, I'm really taking risks. I'm going to find my peacock if I can. There it is. I see that fandango, which is the green color I, meant, I forgot to mention, and it makes me want to put wintergreen with it because it looks really, really good together. And I was use, going to use my palette knife, but I think it's possible that I may just go for the spatula. I wanted not to put any of the Chantilly lace in there, but it seems like it would be okay to have a little bit. And we can just see what's going to happen right out of the gate. Wipe that off. I'm going to go for the purple and some gold. Let me make sure that's open. And functional. I don't know what that just went on. I have some orange that I made with Ozzy Floatrol. They're all cell activators. Mine are made with Ozzy Floatrol. But I used a few drops of Unicorn Spit. The gold is an iridescent very fluid gold from Golden, and I recommend not using the heavier stuff. That's not helpful. I wanted to make this a lot more straightforward with less with fewer marks and that seems to be working so far. Just gonna use my residuals. They're a little bit plain and that's okay. I'm gonna knock that off. Pick it back up again. I might grab some more purple cell activator and I like the orange I don't really see the orange but I know it pops cells really nicely kind of lost my green in that process I got a lot of cells on one side, but not on the other. So I'm thinking maybe I'm just going to go in there. Some cell activator. Maybe some black and some white. So start with the black. Go for the white. Oh, you had to be closed, huh? I thought I checked that right before I started. There, I've got some. Come on out. Excuse me while I do something to my... There. Tweezers will work. The sharp stainless steel tweezers I recommend highly. They take the, t the clogs out of tips really well. Now, do I have enough paint to do what I'm thinking about doing? I'm just going to try my little my little acetate tool. I'm going to use some of the paint I took off the canvas. Put it right back on again. Get some little frayed edges up there and a little smudge over here. So that's kind of cool. I'm wondering if I can
dip the edge of my I think not so much over here tool in pull up just dip the other end in Just dab a few. I'm not sure there's enough black there. Trees along my horizon. It's a good thing I'm having to wait a little bit by putting my trees in. I've got three minutes left to tell you guys I do sell my artwork. And if you're interested in purchasing something, just go ahead and look for my email address below the link tree that's underneath Show More, underneath the coupon code from Color Art. I'm kind of loving adding trees. just by throwing some dots in there. And I don't need to go down to my plate even, I can just dab right from the paint, right in the painting. I have a little paint ball that's dry on the end of my tool. I kind of feel like, oh, I've got some, I've got a little gold paint down there, but So that's kind of cool. I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. I'm going to take that bubble out of there. Blow into my Chantilly lace. So it looks like... Um, it's windblown, some clouds. It's pretty simple. I didn't try really hard to do an excess amount of cells. I just wanted some texture. I'm having fun adding the blue sky. Let's see if we can zoom in down there. Let's turn this light out and see if it helps. I lost my light switch. Very, very pretty. The shimmer is amazing. I just saw something I thought I needed to remove. Like I said, my paint pouring recipe is below the video, and there is some flow troll in there, which will is a paint leveler. So if your paint is still plenty wet and you've got to pull something out of it, there's a pretty good chance it will recover and fill in. I'm going to give myself a mountainside on that side just because the paint traveled up that way. I hope you can see some of that. The shimmer is gorgeous and it suits, it dries perfectly and it looks fabulous the next day. All right, you guys take care of each Oh, wow. I'm all. Make sure to check out the coupon code, but also look on the end screen for video. The exhibition video will show you the monthly drawing if you're a contributor through PayPal to help keep the studio making tutorials. You'll be automatically invited to be in the monthly drawing that happens on the first of the month. I will see you guys in on. I love you much. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batzel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Expecting you to be gone in a second. And uh, look on my link tree for all kinds of really awesome stuff. Thank you for your wonderful comments and kind words. Thank you for your donations to help keep me painting. Uh, don't forget I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida and I do sell my art. Please share what you see. Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. I will be torching in a moment to make sure there are no bubbles left. And don't forget my paint pouring recipes below the video.